Okay. Um, hope you're not boring yet. There's uh, three more comings. So, yeah, the proper approach uh, proposed a way to reduce environmental risk in uh, low-income communities. This is uh, because uh, I'm really want to help the poor, especially because they live and inhabit a city that is prone to uh, floods, uh, extreme climates, and also, um, yeah, uh, earthquake, name it. Yogyakarta have a lot. And um, so I questioned the proper approach uh, influence adaptive capacity of the poor to uh, the impact of climate change. This is because in Indonesia, especially in Jogja, most of the poor, they related with the transient poverty. So they have a place to stay and uh, they have occupations, but their income is not enough to make the ends meet. So I interview uh, communities, also local governments and the mayors uh, regarding their activities since uh, 2006 to 2016, uh, also related with the disaster event in the cities. So the findings indicate that there are levels of integration of this proper approach. Uh, like we can see in their discussion activities or probably their uh, collective actions. Also, uh, the uh, nation action, uh, action plan of climate change. This is also related with Indonesian NDC, uh, which is uh, resilience, green jobs, and sustainable energy. And also, uh, these activities here, we can see that there is uh, uh, active participation that happened between these stakeholders. So uh, the good governance also happens here, the assessment activities you can see. And OK, let's see the inside, so you'll not get bored. Um, so I interview the Pertama, former mayor, which is Pak Harry, and he told us the story about the disaster event in the city, which is earthquake that happened in 2016. And he said that he even owed the money from her friend, uh, from his friends, to to make the uh, this, uh, recovery run faster. Also, uh, Patoto, which is the head of communities, he speaks about the condition of the poor, uh, which is they they uh, they don't have house and even they stay in the, under the bridge and so on. But most of us, uh, all of these stakeholders, they are agree that the, uh, the key of this active participation is communities' uh, active engagement. Thank you.